here we go. We're up in the air once again. So welcome to my channel. It's Dean with Departures by Dean. And today we are off to the beautiful country of Namibia. I'm so excited. So we're flying from Vancouver for 30 hours via Cape Town. We're doing a little stopover in Cape Town for the Mr. Gay World competition. And then we continue on to Namibia. And it's going to be a seven day journey. It's actually a 10 day journey. Uh, seven day on safari and a couple days in the capital city of Windhoek. So I'll be able to check that out and experience all the excitement of Namibia, the wildlife, the sand dunes. I can hardly wait. So come along and join me. Inside the Tosha National Park here in Namibia. It's one of the oldest national parks in the world and this is also one of the largest in Africa at almost 24,000 square kilometers in size. It's just massive. We've seen tons of wildlife already. It's been pretty incredible. We've seen almost the entire big five. The only one that we're missing is the water buffalo and uh, it's been pretty amazing. Apparently this is also one of the largest preserves for cheetahs. So we're hoping to see cheetahs out here. Uh, yesterday we get in Anderson Gate, Kaukweo, come all this way, Halali, where we are now we just on somewhere here. It's used to be a lake. It is a dead lake due to the movement, the earth movement. The river used to feed the lake is changed the coast. Now it's taking water to the Atlantic Ocean. It's no more bringing water here. That's how the lake end up there. are at the Itoshe village. Uh, this is where we're going to call home for tonight. And um, I'm staying in uh, bungalow number 18, which I'm very excited about. And we're going to go and take a look and see what the suite is all about. Like, it looks pretty amazing. So here we go. We're in number 18. Wow, look at this place. It's a permanent tented facility. Doesn't really look tented to me, but wow. Nice, beautiful beds. There's a nice, beautiful balcony out here. Like, look at this balcony. Wow, amazing. I've already seen some um, really large rabbit looking things, some guinea fowl. Um, there was a zebra that went scooting by. Um, and we're just outside of uh, Itoshe National Park, which is pretty cool. And last night we actually spent the night inside the park. Tonight we're outside the park. And this is the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. Like, wow. Pretty amazing. Nice, huge shower. And then a toilet, of course. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So we've seen lots of wildlife over the last two days. And uh, we're going to have... world we have the tallest mountain here in Namibia okay. and I have a friend with me. Hi I'm Marisha from Australia it is absolutely amazing come to Namibia. It's crazy. are in the oldest desert in the world, the Nabi Desert, here on the skeleton coast of the South Atlantic. And behind me, that's a, the lichen fields. Um, and it shows the quality of air here. It's a huge indicator of healthy the environment is. And behind me is the skeleton coast. I don't know if you can see it way, way back there. Wow, pretty amazing out here. It's just it's much cooler up here and it is pretty desolate there's not a lot around here it is pretty amazing lots of shipwrecks happen out here and uh, we we're have a lot at, we're staying at a la mer and check this out so this is a very touristy 
resort town. It's very popular for everybody to come. I'm staying in number 18 once again. And this is my room, like check it out. It looks pretty amazing. So here we go. Nice big king bed. And look at this, such a big, beautiful balcony. Uh, the ocean is out back that way. Wow, it's pretty stunning. And check out this bathroom. Love the sink here. There's a great sink here. A nice, beautiful shower. Oh, I love the shower. So um, I mentioned to you earlier that we're inside the Dorob National Park. Now you come to the stand-up sandboarding. And um, I know that it might look rather treacherous whether you're a snowboarder or not, but we have very good reasons for riding on this side and this side only. Um, mainly, we've tested the other slopes on the dune, and over the years we've been to a lot of different dunes out here, riding them, just seeing what works. And we found that this slope is the best for what we're doing. It's nice and wide, it's long, it is steep, but we need that. But most importantly, it's very soft on this side of the dune. There is no broken glass, rocks, trees that you can crash into. It's very safe to fall. Six different slopes. And we're gonna join them when they get to their best run on the dune. All of their runs have names. The one that you're gonna be doing is called Dizzy. And Dizzy starts from um, where, actually maybe you saw where Marco and uh, Aiden put their boards. Uh, it starts from there and we go down into the back bowl. So you Hello from Namibia. Oh my goodness, I'm on top of a dune here in the Nabi Desert. And we are doing some sandboarding today. And since we are inside one of their parks, uh, we have to climb the dunes between each run. And it's been pretty amazing. Like just look at this place. The sand is incredible. It's sort of like uh, riding on corn snow, uh, like heavy spring whistler snow and it's it's just amazing it's such a an amazing experience Gosh. Um, uh it's beth yes from san francisco this is your company yes it is so tell us how how long have you been doing this well 24 years yeah. we're coming up on 24 years amazing. well the company's actually called ultra action but ultra to climb all the way up how high? Uh, it's, it's been your fourth climb that's my fourth why, climb yeah, yeah absolutely um the dune that point up there is about a hundred meters so, wow. but it's a, it's a long climb, one step forward, two steps back. Yeah. Not an easy task on a very warm day. Right. Very warm and, winter. And then just behind us in the distance is the Skeleton Coast, right? Yeah, that's the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the waves just on the end of, Swak on the end of town in Swakopmund. The rest is a bit hazy. I think there's a bit of dust in the air from the east wind that I was telling you that's bringing all this heat. And it's very, so what do you and think you the temperature see some is? Quad bikes there. Um, oh, I'd say today is about 20. Four maybe yeah. somewhere around there, which is not very hot if you're just lying on the beach. But when yeah. you're climbing a sand dune like this, and the sand temperature is also quite hot, so we're getting the heat coming up from the sand. The black sand is metal, ilmenite, and magnetite. So these wow. these temperatures can reach up to 70 degrees Celsius. And one of the great things about sandboarding is you're getting this layer of sand, so it's giving you an extra layer of sun protection. Um, plus the exfoliation that yes, goes on, and that is included in the trip price. We do not charge extra for that. And the boards are a little bit different. You have... It's called Formica, Formica. kitchen countertop material. Yeah. Right. And we wax it between runs boarding which will be fun and then my crew is going to come and pick me up and we're off to salsa's play that's that's where we're going <laughs> on the Tropic of Capricorn of yes. Daniela yes. and Gabrielle, yes. right? Yes. And you're from Brazil! Brazil. From yes. one of my favorite cities, Sao Paulo. Yes. Yeah? Yes. yeah. And so we're on the Chameleon Safari and what what's your impression so far? Oh, we are having so much fun. Yes, very nice trip. <laughs> Beautiful places, and beautiful good friends landscapes. Here. Yeah. Good friends. Like good guide. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and 
Okay. What's highlights? I think uh, the lion. <laughs> the, the lion. The lion. Yeah. Yeah. The lion, yeah. the lion. Yeah. The lion the at Pitocci Park. Pitocci Park. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I really like it. Uh, soccer pommel. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. of the the beat. Yeah. So yeah. The skeleton coast was very very good. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. Shipwreck. Yeah. yeah. The shipwreck. Yeah. The shipwreck. Yeah. Inside. So let's jump over here. So this is one side of the Tropic of Capricorn. <laughs> now we're on the other side. Whoa! And that's our group. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Yay. So um, this is Dean from Namibia at the Tropic of Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Yes. Daniela. Hello. We are in Deadville. Deadville. In Namibia. In Namibia. And we are going to climb the highest. Yeah, one yeah. of the highest peaks are not peaks but a sand dune. Yes, a sand dune. A sand dune. Yes. You can't really see. Oh, you can see here now. Look at that. Isn't that just crazy? Wow. Welcome to the top of the world. Well, nearly the top of the world. It's still quite there. It's taking us an hour to go from the bottom of the dunes down there. That's my friend Australia. It's hard work, but it is pretty, pretty remarkable up here. This is Deadsville. Deadsville. Um, and we feel like we're going to die. So uh, I think we're in the right place. But this is pretty magnificent up here. Wow, here we are, top of the sand dune. One hour, 10 minutes, we made it. And here's Team Korea, <laughs> Team Brazil. <laughs> and where's Australia? There she is. Wow, on top of the world. In Namibia. And that's uh, Deadsville. We feel like we're pretty dead. And here comes Carrie, the other part of the It's making a crazy sound. This tree you can see here, they've been dead for five to six hundred years ago. They are very, very old. That's why you are not allowed to climb it, you are not allowed to touch them. They are very old, and that way we want to keep them uh, for the new generation to come. It's a camel thorn tree, uh, Acacia areoloba. Uh, they are having a long roots going like a 50 meters deep. Uh, that's why you can see them, they are still standing, and if you can see nicely, now it's like they've been cemented in. Uh, they are having a main one which are going straight, 50 meters, and then they is uh, having another branches going this way. That's why they are still standing. They are also still standing because, as you can see, they are protected or surrounding by the uh, St. Junes. When the wind blowing, it's not having such uh, much pressure to push them down. But as those one you can see are lying down here, that's a wind. And uh, they are also still standing here because hardly to get rain here. Only 50 millimeter per year if we receive rain in this area. And that's nothing, just drops.
Back in Windhoek, uh, the capital city of Namibia, after a week of incredible safari, and I'm just checking into my new place here at the residence, um, which looks absolutely spectacular. I can hardly wait to see what the room looks like. Nice, beautiful courtyard here. And I'm staying in room 909. And let's take a look at the room. And here we go. Wow. This is looking pretty stunning. Look at this. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Holy smokes. Look at this. Nice, big, beautiful living room. I have a nice big balcony. Look at this view, wow. There's the Supreme Court for Namibia, just over here. And then you, we see the German church, of course. And then the museum that I had seen earlier, the Holocaust Museum. And the Namibian National Museum is there too. The Hilton is just behind me. And that's where we're going to have some cocktails later this afternoon and sundowners as they like to say down here in the southern hemisphere and i just i cannot believe this place this is amazing and let's check out the bedroom and here's the bedroom like wow look at this this is pretty spectacular and then the bathroom wow look at the bathroom Huh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Nice big shower. So uh, I'm going to get freshened up and relax before we have our sundowners at the Hilton. Here we are at Sky Bar, the Hilton. We have Team Korea, uh, Kim. So how, how was the safari experience for you? and I'm uh, glad to meet you. Oh, thank you. Thank you and congratulations. They're celebrating their honeymoon. Um, we were the United Nations of Africa this week, which was very exciting. We have Team Australia. Team Australia, tell us, what, what did you think? What, what, what was your impression? Of Namibia? Of Namibia, uh, of the safari. It is fantastic. You've got to come. It's in my top five countries now. Top five. Really that's that's a lot. And, you, and you've done a I've lot done, of travel. I've traveled yeah. for about 20 years Those now, sand so dunes I love it. Were incredible. Yeah, the sand dunes were amazing. Big got, Daddy, yeah. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Wow. Big Daddy wow. was big pain, but yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> But it was worth it. It was worth it. One step forward and we made it, right? One yeah. step. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Then we have Team Brazil. Yeah. Team Brazil, Daniela. <laughs> So how was the safari experience for you? Very good, very yeah. good. Yeah. Very wise. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty, pretty amazing, right? Yeah, the views yes. were amazing. Yeah. yeah. We saw the lions. We saw the lions. It, 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 Itosha. Itosha. Itosha, Park. Itosha Park was amazing. Yeah. And Gideon, he was actually really quite amazing, right? Yes. He, he yes. was our driver, he was yeah. our chef, he our was guide our guide. Too. Yes. Yeah. Gideon was amazing so guy. amazing guy. Yeah. yeah. And he did a good job. Yeah. So, absolutely amazing. We're here at the Hilton. Relaxing. Relaxing. After, after a beautiful week out in the bush, out in the desert. So, say goodbye. Arrivederci. Until next time, ciao.